Welcome everybody to our first ever Sega Saturn playthrough, courtesy of me. And yes, ah, yes. Oh yes, yeah, first we're gonna go to Sonic Jam. That's right. We're gonna take it the specifically the Sonic <laughs> World uh, feature. Ah yes, Sega Saturn. Nineteen ninety-five, the year ah, good old nineteen ninety-five. Take one, one of the, the Sega's year most forgotten that consoles. Wow, was born. All right, and the one first. Of Sega's most forgotten Not most consoles. The most, most poorly handled. Okay, first thing, um, there's a CGI intro. Of course, this is 90 CG, so, yeah. Don't expect anything great. <laughs> oh, actually, I think, this, I, I think this intro's fine, though. I haven't the seen this intro. It's better than the, it's better than the CGI that, that, the CGI they used in the Mega Drive version of 3D Blast. <laughs> Sonic Jump! All right, so before we move on to Sonic... Oh, sorry about uh, that. From so what I've heard, Sonic Jam was a compilation. Yeah, it's a, co it's a Sega Saturn compilation of all the classic Sonic games. And by that, I mean the main ones. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show off a, a bit of the options you get when selecting these games. So let's check out Sonic 1. Yay, they're using the Mega Drive okay. ones. Woo! It's because it's the PAL version I'm playing, Dips. Yeah. The, the, okay, anyway... As you can see, you can actually turn on the spin dash in Sonic 1. And there's difficulty modes, yes. They actually altered the ROM to, to create an easy mode and, uh, and a normal mode. And the, the, the original level, the original Mega Drive games being the hard mode. I thought, um, ah. I thought Sonic Genesis was the one to bring in the spin dash for Sonic 1. No, it was Sonic Gem, actually. So that game literally does nothing new. Yep. Well, Elder Spin Dash isn't even properly used in that game. You only get one speed with it in Sonic Genesis. And, and, and unless, again, again, if you want to play Sonic One with the, with the Spin Dash done properly, just play the Taxman uh, remake, the best version of mm, Sonic One. I don't but... like the way iPhone works with games like that. True. All right. I can't so blame first, you. so this is Sonic World. This is the first ever that Sonic has been in 3D. Um, so first mission, get 20 rings under one minute. Basically, ah. basically, in the Sonic world, you can go to various houses where you can look at concept art, um, watch various com video game commercials, and but those are available on YouTube anyway, so I'm not going to show those. I'm just going to show the missions. Okay. Looks interesting. Alright, allow me to explain the controls. Even though it's a 3D, remember this is a Sega Saturn game, so you're playing with the, that controller that is just like the six-button Mega Drive controller, which means you're controlling this with a D-pad, and as you can tell, and as you can probably guess, it's not that good. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, but for those that don't know, this Sonic World thing was actually is actually kind of a beta version when they were testing. How could they make Sonic into 3D? So basically, this is this is kind of an early alpha thing of what eventually will become Sonic Adventure. Except, as you can see, this one is much more similar to the original games with a green hill. And we have glitched through the floor yet. We also have classic Sonic's design. Mm -hmm. the, 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 exact, the exact same model he has on uh, free, 3D for the Saturn and uh, Sonic Car. By the way, guys, have you seen the um, the Sonic design they've been using for Sonic? Um... What's the new one called? Sonic Boom? No, Sonic Runners. Oh, it's the Runners. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, it looks cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, 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 that, design, that design looks pretty cool, actually. It's a nice it's blend of, of classic and modern Sonic. Yeah. I like it. And, and, and yes, there's Tails right there. Basically, I can jump into Tails and he'll have me he'll fly me around that stage. There's no hey, Tails! Would you mind me jumping in here so you can fly me up there? There's no purpose for it, unless, uh, uh, except of course for the actual mission where you have to find mo t find them. But aside from that, uh, he just flies you around. All right, collect the 50 rings under a minute. Done. Okay. All right, next mission. Touch miles. Uh... Can't make it. <laughs> there we go. Platonically. Quickest mission. I just happened to be lucky, and Tails was passing just by when I started this mission. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Fastest mission ever. It's even faster than the Find the Captain mini game from Sonic 06. All right. Uh, now we gotta. F the first mission was to find the second mission. The second mission was to find three red star posts. Now we have to find five blue star posts. There we go. Okay. Uh, you're probably wondering. So what are these <laughs> missions for? Well, basically, if you unlock all the missions, you unlock a, 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 a big ring where if you jump with one, you can get to see the credits roll for the game. So, oh. <laughs> so, 
a game where you can only unlock the credits. Yeah, you have to understand that this was the first time we, could, we were able to control Sonic in 3D in a platforming environment. So this was this was, this alone made the, the game worth. And Sonic for, 3D Blast doesn't count. Yeah, and th this alone made the I game why uh, worth a buy, in my opinion. I wonder why people don't bring this. I wonder why people don't bring up Sonic World that much. It's because it's it's not a full game. It's just a, fe a small feature. I mean, it, it looks it looks playable. It just doesn't look all that remarkable. Yeah. It's just a hub world, really. Yeah. Well, it, sure. well. It is an it is an alpha stage of a game that of a Dreamcast game, so I guess that's normal. And the, the, like uh, again, the gallery there, you can see concept art there. Uh, but again, you can see that all that, that in the internet, so I'm not really bothered going to show that. And also, uh, one thing I will say for Sonic Jam Saturn is that for a compilation game, it's actually got some pretty nice original music. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's, 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 actually, it's, actually, it's actually done by Masaru. Um, Temu to one of the composers for Sonic 3D Blast on the, on the Mega Drive. Uh, what if it's no music? This one, for example. Oh, this one. I thought you meant like stuff like in the actual compilation. No, no, but the, the Sonic World uh, part of Sonic Jam has original music. Ah. And, the, and the menus. In fact, one of the... Um, actually, I think actually, the... actually, the menus are, um, are a, a remix of um, the Sonic 3 safe select screen. Yeah, yeah that's for the museum, isn't it? Yeah. And I actually, actually, actually quite like that remix. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's synthesized, but, um, you know, I still like it. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm fighting seven secret cards. What are these secret cards, you're wondering? Well, basically, if you touch one of those things with the A, B, or C button, you can uh, look at uh, a specific cheat code for each of the, uh, the, the three Sonic games, like the level sled code in Sonic 1, the Super Sonic code in Sonic 2, uh, stuff like that. You know, those things where you go to the... in Sonic 2, where you go to the sound test and you select specific songs. Um, to unlock uh, a, le a level select. Well, that, that kind of thing. You can actually see the codes here. Cool. So, so that's pretty cool. They do things like that in um, in the Mega Collection games as well. Yeah. Except, actually, I, I hate the, well, actually, I hate the way they do it in Mega and Gems Collection. Because in order to unlock the hints, you have to leave the game on for three hours. That's fucking stupid. I don't think you have to leave it on for three hours. I think your total playtime just needs to be three hours. I know, but I have to leave the game on for three hours, basically. That, that, like, no, no, why? I mean, you could, I mean, you can the total play time, even if you I turn know, the codes but, off. but by that point, I've already completed the game. I won't need the cheat codes. Like, <laughs> well, actually, well, yeah, there's, it's far right in the sense, because a lot of the cheat codes you unlock, you, you've already completed the stuff for it anyway. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> I, I just, so yeah, why cheat when you've already earned it? Exactly. I, oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, and... Um, in case you're wondering, audience, we're probably not going to be doing the GameCon version of Sonic Jam for a while. <laughs> is it really that much different? Because this is just... So, guess what? Look at those balloons. Look, look, look at... Guess what? Um, the balloons from Sonic Adventure and Adventure oh, 2 before shit. before Adventures came about. That's right, those balloons. Oh. <laughs> those balloons, that, that's oh, right. Shit, boy. What? What is it? How could they screw up a game with just a hub world? No, actually, no, actually, she, wait, the game com version is very different. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you a video when we've done with this. How okay, bad can okay. It be? guys, remember the those red balloons with a star on Sonic Adventure Two, and yeah. I think Adventure One. Well, there they are. They actually made their debut here. And yeah, it's <laughs> so, funny. Yeah. A lot of stuff made its debut here. Yet a lot of people tend to document other Sonic stuff as. Yeah. The first well, Sonic well, the, 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 wasn't this unique as we thought. <laughs> the, 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 well, the Sonic World feature was directed by Takashi Izuka, the director of Sonic Adventure, so I guess it makes sense. Huh. How about that? So this is just him messing around with stuff. Yeah. Alright, yeah, right. so, so what right, I'm doing guys, right now... Um... So the mission right now is to uh, break free uh, pop free balloons, basically. And right. there we go. You were saying something, Dribs? Uh, never mind. Alright. Okay. That's a problem with being interrupted sometimes. You forget what you're gonna say. Sorry. Alright. Final mission. Under Touch two... Smile still sounds pretty freaking awkward. <laughs> in, in, in just two minutes and a half, I have to collect every single ring in this hub world. How many? A uh, hundred. A hundred, don't I? Actually, actually, I actually, 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 believe it or not, it's actually not the hardest mission. The hardest mission for me is definitely the the, uh, the secret cards and the balloon ones. Why? 
the the reason I'm not I'm not sh uh, the, basically there was a lot of editing I did for this uh, this uh, this particular recording because the problem with the balloons and the secret cards missions that you cannot get all of them unless you do them in a specific order that the game wants you to do and the only way to, uh, and the only way you're gonna figure out that specific order is if you if you do a lot of trial and error or I don't know I guess check a guide um, so that's kind of crap. But... So even the bad Chaos Emerald finding system in Adventure Two debuted here. Uh, yeah, I guess you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, of all the things people credit the adventure games for, they should be crediting a compilation game for the Saturn. Ha ha! Out there. Yeah, that'd be like that'd be like um, that'd be like if like stuff they, they credited Mario Galaxy for something, but it turned out it was like in um, Mario sixty four or um. Or 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 um or hell. Well, if it was like a virtual boy game. Is some of this song a remix or a rearrangement so, or something? Most, most, of, most of these no, songs are original. Most of these songs just, are original. Um, mm. Righty two. Come on, Pedro. Come on, let's support him, guys. Eight more. Don't worry. I actually know where they are. It's just that I'm. Hold on. There we are. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Come on, only five more rings. Quick! Alright, the Do next two... The next two are actually uh, somewhere on the air and I have to go to, into a floating platform to get to them. So, hold on. Fortunately, I still have um, over 30 seconds, so I'm fine. Yeah. Come Basically, on, imagine Sonic. if you Do lost with only two left to get. Don't worry, Joe, but the power of editing uh, would save us from that. <laughs> Chaos control! Actually, I, I, actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have done a Chaos Control joke when I sped up that footage in Final Fantasy XIV Part tw Part Nine Twenty. Nah, you, you probably that won't make sense. You have to you have to use Chaos Control in like a Sonic thing or something. I guess. Well, yeah. from what it was told me, Dwibs, actually Chaos Control would make sense by Final Fantasy XIV too. All the missions done. There we go. We completed all the missions, which means we completed the Sonic World uh, hub thing. So let's that's, let's that's just now let's we have to the get, credits. <laughs> now we have to get to the we have to get to the special ring to get the first <laughs> chaos emerald. <laughs> that's what we're doing, right? So what will it be, gym style or Sega style? Uh, what do you mean, Sega? Generic credit style. No, it's well, just I'm about the special. I was joking about the special stages because Dim's special stages are a pain to get to, yeah. and sometimes even more of a pain well, to play than actual well, Sega unless ones. It's, unless it's unless it's the special stages for Dim's in Advance One and the Sonic Four games, because they're the simple get fifty rings, then get to the end of the stage. Actually, in Advance One, you find special springs, but. There you go. There you go. The, the original. Or, there you go. An original. Oh, no, wait, cre an original credits track. Exactly. All right, guys. So that was okay, guys. So that was Sonic Gem. Final thoughts? Um, it's a pretty cool uh, compilation with some nice extras added to the games, and I really like the Sonic World uh, feature. That was a nice thing to add. In my opinion, it made the whole compilation really worth buying at the time. Yeah, the figure eight animation in the credits. Yeah. Okay, Jova. So yeah, it's a pretty neat game slash compilation slash 3D demo. It's opened quite a few doors that I didn't know were opened by this game in particular. A game on the Sega Saturn, go figure. So yeah, neat demo. It looks like it handles well enough for its time. And yeah, I liked it. Sure. I like the I, I like the idea that this is a beta for adventure. It's um a neat little touch and this is in pretty okay compilation there, there you go the there you go mazaru setsumaro the com one of the composers <clears throat> for sonic 3d plus for the mega drive and kenichi tokai who will later on become the sound director for sonic and the secret rings and sonic colors okay. and for okay. a few tracks in uh and various sonic games um, yeah this is a nice little compilation all right Debs, your, um, your thoughts. it looks nice Moving on. It's cute. <laughs> so tell me, how are the actual games oh, on the compilation? Uh, they're fine. They're fine. Emulated fine. It's not the best emulation, probably. It's 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 not um, Taxman, but it's certainly not Sonic Genesis. Definitely. So what about GameCom the, version? The, the, the Mega Collection and the Mega Collection, the Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube and PS2 and Xbox, they definitely have much better emulation than by M2, the Wizards of emu of emulated stuff. Uh, who have done a lot of emulations for Sega, but back then M2 wasn't a thing, so Sonic Team themselves did the emulations. And the emulations are fine, especially for the time, since emulation was still kind of a new thing back then, but uh, they could be better. 
They're not the best ways to play these games. Uh, Luckily, we have Mega Collection now. Well, I'm, I'm glad because um, I that's how I have to play. That there is I was just, I, I remembered what I was going to say now. Um, uh, God damn it, I forgot I get. No, no, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, you know the DS collection of the um, classic Sonic games? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They actually used um, a slightly remixed version of the Sonic World theme. Awesome. Really? Yeah. I tell you what, in Sonic Free, in, in Sonic Free and Cakes, that was the one I went to play straight away when I got that game. The special stages have terrible lag. Hmm. Which what Sonic Genesis? Of course, it has lag. No, the the DS. The, the DS Sonic collection, oh, right. okay. yeah, the, they lag to hell. Is Wait, it as bad as Sonic, Sonic Genesis? Rush? No, not Sonic Rush. Oh. The, um, the Sonic the, Free on the DS, the DS port of Sonic Free. There's a there's a cartridge. They were like a release called Sonic Classic Collection for the DS. It has all. It's basically Sonic Jam, but without the extras. Is it as bad as Sonic Genesis, Fury? No, it's not, but it's an inconvenience. Anyway, well, everybody, now the Sonic Jam. Yeah. See you then. On, on the Saturn. I had fun. Yes. 